SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living and this week just kind of doing an update on the aquaponics system so it's been two weeks since the last time uh, we did an update here. Um, the system's been up and running now for 30 days and I actually have gotten one more grow bed just about finished. I don't have the light up on it yet but uh, I just got all the rock in there and washed it, washed everything up and got it put in there just a little while ago. So I've got one more ready to go here. Um, once I get the light hung up, I've got some a few plants to put in there, but I'll be starting some more seedlings to uh, to fill this one up too. So, but uh, things have been going pretty well. Um, the broccoli plant in the back here, this we kind of started off with last time. Uh, this thing's been doing awesome. This is probably the the only plant that's been doing extremely well. The rest of the the, the uh, plants have been doing, I would say okay um, still have real high pH in the system so um, just working on bringing that down I know the hard water issue is something I'm gonna have to deal with here until I can get the all four grow beds going and then I'll have enough of that nitrification going on to bring the uh, the pH down automatically you know without adding any chemicals or anything so I've been adding I think phosph uh, phosphoric acid um, is uh, I'll have to verify make sure that I'm saying the right the right but uh, I've been adding that to it and I actually went through a bottle of it and still didn't <laughs> bring the pH down but maybe a couple points so it's at like 8.2 I think still. Um, so there's some definitely some nutrient lockout. The tomato plants, um, I transplanted these and I didn't think that there would be too much transplant shock because I just moved them, they were back in the corner and I just kind of threw things in here to see what would grow and everything lived so now I have too much stuff. <laughs> but. Uh, these little tomato plants, they're doing really well actually. They have real thick tr uh, trunks on them, stems on them. <coughs> um, but the leaves can start to curl up in that a little bit and brown a little bit since I had moved them. So there's a little shock going on there. Same thing happened with some of this lettuce. Um, I moved all the lettuce out of that grow bed and put it over here. And some of these have that have been transplanted, like this one here, is pretty bad. Um, that one might even die. But all the other ones I planted in here from seedlings, they grew really well, actually, the lettuce. So these are all iceberg lettuce. Um, back in the back there, that's all romaine lettuce, big bunches of it. And I just probably am going to have to thin these out, but I just planted a whole bunch of seeds in little seed pots, and then I just put the whole clump in there, so we'll see how they grow. Um, but that stuff's taken off. It's real green. And some of this other lettuce is doing really well, too. It's real green. So um, things are growing. Even with the pH that high, things are actually still still growing pretty well. These two um, bell peppers I showed at the on the last video as well, and I'll try to snap a picture back to the to the last or two weeks ago, but they're growing really well. I mean, they're growing kind of slow, but they're still looking really healthy, and they have thick stems on them, and um, you know they're they're doing pretty good. So I'll try to get in there. And this thing is a flower of some sort that came free with some seeds I bought. And I don't really know what that is. I might pull that out of there. Um, and then the oregano is kind of slowly wilting away over here. So with the pH being that high, it definitely doesn't like that at all. But the system's been doing pretty well. Um, the other thing, that broccoli plant back there with the kind of dead leaf on the bottom, that one... That one came back. I had that one uh, almost dead, actually, in a seed pot. It didn't water it very well. And I threw that one in here. This broccoli plant was planted at the same exact time. I know I said this in the last update, but at the same time as this big one. So that one down there and this one right here were planted at the same exact time. The only difference is I put this big one in here a week earlier. I put in the aquaponic system. So. I mean, that's a huge difference. This one, <clears throat> again, it seems to be not taking as well, but if you remember the last video or if you just recently watched the last video, it was a, just a tiny little two-leaf thing. So in two weeks, it actually grew quite a bit, but not as much as that one in the back. The thing is just huge. It's got like, I don't know. It's just exciting because this is obviously, for, for you guys that have had systems running for a while, you know, JT Bear and Rob Bob and Aquaponics Adventures and some of these other guys, if you haven't checked out their channels, check them out because they've got some pretty nice nice setups. But uh, um, 
those guys know what I'm talking about and any of you guys that have aquaponic systems because you just come down and check it all the time and you're waiting for things to grow and you want to see how well it does and you're constantly comparing things and <laughs> so um, it's definitely an addictive hobby I've noticed but uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, I know <laughs> once I get the system more established and um, the pH down that's my biggest thing that I'm working on um, I know this is gonna gonna take off so a little tomato plant here this is a big beef tomato this is a cucumber and I'm actually gonna I threw this this is an apple tree <laughs> we grew a bunch of apple trees out of our uh, um, seeds from some apples that we bought actually these are Michigan apples we had some granny smith and some honey crisp and that we're gonna grow I'm just throwing it in there just to see if it'll grow and then we'll transplant it outside so um, but things are going real well. Water was actually crystal clear until I just put all that rock in there. And now it's kind of back to its brown look. Um, in about a week, if I don't add any more rock to this thing, it's crystal clear. You can see back to the bottom again. So um, there's just uh, those rocks, it's just really hard to clean. And I'll actually. Uh, throw a, a quick snapshot of, of the rock cleaning process really quick um, so you can check that out and see how I actually found a better way to clean the, the uh, rock. Alright, so basically what I found that works best, uh, I've tried to wash this rock quite a few different ways. Um, I had a cement mixing pan I was using to slush it back and forth and I had this wheelbarrow I tried to use but I found this wire lath, this wire mesh here. Um, you can see there's ice on it because it's about five degrees outside right now. But uh, sorry about the lights, not so good out here. Uh, but basically, I just stretched the wire over the top of this wheelbarrow. Um, the wheelbarrow is actually an old broken wheelbarrow. It's got a hole in the bottom of it, so the water's draining out. Um, but uh, I've just been stacking the rock in here and just spreading it out over the wire and um, just washing it with the hose, letting the water run through and then put it in my handy dandy bucket and carry it downstairs so it's quite a process but uh this has actually sped things up quite a bit and yeah, i'm blocking all the way here so sorry about the horrible camera but i just wanted to at least show how i was washing the rock um if it wasn't winter outside this would be a lot easier to do um i'd probably get a bigger bigger wire mesh and just do it all over the top of this wheelbarrow and i'd probably be able to wash it really quick but uh out here in the cold it is slow going but uh, hopefully this helps if you're I'm trying to think of a good way to wash this stuff off. Alright, so as you can see, it's not a lot of fun getting that uh, rock cleaned up, but uh, it's a lot nicer to do it when it's warmer outside, that's for sure. So if you're setting the system up, I've said this before, make sure you do this in the, in the summertime or the springtime at least, so you can um, get this rock cleaned up. Um, the other option, obviously, is using the uh, baked clay um, or the hydrotin, um, which is, like, I, I want to say at least five times more expensive. Um, it does have some you know, nice features to it. It is a little bit easier to, to move around and work with. It's a lot lighter weight, but this rock is, um, you know, to me it's been working out really well. It does hold the plants in there really well, so, um, you know, you can grow taller crops and stuff like that, I guess, and it holds the roots a little better, but since we're indoor, there's not a lot of wind or anything that we're worried about anyway, so I'm sure the expanded clay would work fine in here as well. But, um, one more of these, uh, one more of these grow beds to go. So I only have about nine more bags, maybe eight more bags of uh, of uh, rock to wash. But um, we'll get it done here. Maybe next week it'll be warmer outside. So, but uh, the rest of the system has been running pretty good. Um, fish are doing really well, and the water is a little bit clearer now. Um, so all these little goldfish actually have been growing quite well. They're Quite a bit bigger than than they were when I got them. These things were, were just tiny when I first got them. So throw in some of the pellets and get to the bottom there for the bigger one. There's a there's a monster fish at the bottom of this tank. He always hangs out at the bottom. He never comes up to the top. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But um, the rest of them come swim up at the top a lot. But um, the system's been running great. You know, everything's been good. No leaks. Um, you know, I haven't had any problems with the bell siphons. I haven't had any problems with uh, with really anything. It's been running really good. I'm just trying to, to tweak the, the chemistry and figure out what grows where and how to plant things and 
uh, working on growing seedlings and I'll go through a little video on that on how I'm doing the starting the seedlings and how I'm planting stuff but um, you know I guess I've learned transplanting things around especially with this type of rock it's a little harder to get the plants out and move them around um, if the hydrotin that's one of the, the the benefits of that hydrotin is you can move the plants around you can transplant a lot easier this rock it tends to if you shift it around a lot around the plants it actually cuts the roots because the rocks are all jagged in different sizes and stuff so you gotta be really careful taking the plants out if you're moving them and things like that so but um you know the advantages of of growing indoors though it's it's winter time it's you know right now i think it's negative 15 degrees outside with the wind chill about five degrees or zero degrees outside fahrenheit um without wind chill so you know i'm able to grow things year round and um i don't have to deal with any pests or bugs or anything like that the only thing i have in here if i can find any is i've got a bunch of ladybugs which as far as i understand are carnivores and they eat, they eat other little bugs that might be in here so um i don't have to deal with there's one back there i don't have to deal with any any real pests which is nice i always have a constant temperature in here i can grow pretty much anything um, the only disadvantage obviously is that I'm using light and I'm consuming a lot of energy so that's something I'm going to try to tackle with you know counteract with renewable energy and stuff like that down the road but um, but I do like I do like the ability to just kind of come down here I don't have to worry about um, weather and um, rain, watering things which is something I'm horrible with so the system is is doing good I think I'm gonna like it it's a it's an addictive hobby that's for sure and um, if you're watching this video and you're thinking about doing aquaponics or thinking about setting something up um, I would highly recommend it it's a lot of fun and this has been about a month for me of doing this system and um, you know I really like it so uh, if you have any questions please feel free to throw them in comments I do monitor the channel so um, I will answer questions and I do appreciate feedback if you see something I've done that's pretty stupid please let me know uh, if you have any advice for for anything please let me know um, I'm going to continue to be releasing videos every two weeks. I'll do updates on aquaponics, and I've got a couple other things like uh, composting and um, a lot of outdoor projects that I'll be putting up here once it gets warm outside. So please follow along. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, as I said, I, I do appreciate any feedback. So if you guys have comments, throw them in there. And like the video if, it's, uh, if it was interesting to you or if you found it useful. So we appreciate you watching, and have a good one.